What's up, everybody? I'm Half Dead. I'm Guardian Angel. And I'm Daniel Davis. We're here at the uh, round table tonight. And we're going to talk to you guys a little about something that's been on our mind. So, I actually uh, was talking with a guy about a week and a half ago. And the topic had very briefly come up about artists selling out. And he made a comment that everyone sells out at some point. And then after watching a video that Freddie Trax had, sh had shared with KRS talking, KRS One talking about what was needing to stop in hip hop today, and that kind of highlighted the issue too. And so I thought that would be kind of be a good discussion for tonight. Artists selling out, like what does it actually mean to sell out? Why did, why would it even happen? What you uh, some aspects. If you want to get known, yeah, you have to give a little. But some artists or stars will give up more than what they need to. Yeah, and the way we pretty much look at it is, uh, don't mind the wobbly table, we are ghetto as hell. But, uh, what we're, uh, looking at here with selling out so many people have literally like come from lavish backgrounds they came they went through prestige schools to make for something that they just believe so much in but when they went to these labels or whatever the heck they're doing they literally had to create a persona see i feel like selling out is uh more about when when it Selling out is when it becomes more about making money and gaining notoriety than it is about music and art and performance and the messages. And that's, that's I think, when it becomes selling out, is when you lose the essence of what makes your music your very own music. It's when you start to conform to what you think that other people want to see by using promotions and gimmicks in order to gain attention. But I think... What the catch is with that is that once you start using publicity stunts and you start using a bunch of gimmicks to gain attention and gain notoriety, then when that stuff stops, so does the attention. So you have to continuously keep cheapening yourself in order to stay in the spotlight because that is what everyone expects from the very beginning. You can't go back to whatever you thought that you were going to be when you first began. And I think that's selling out. On the flip side, <laughs> this is Baz, by the way. On the flip side, I kind of I feel like there are some artists that may begin their journey only wanting money and notoriety, and so maybe in that respect, some artists won't ever sell out because if that's what you're get you know tr striving for to begin with, and you're not really selling out to get what you want, you're just simply going after it. Well, another way to look at it is you're bending more to the popular demand than having them bend to you. You know, you're giving up what makes you, like you said, what makes you you to get money. I mean, like you said, a lot of artists, you know, even from you know, pop, rap, rock, all genres, and even into writing and movies, they will, uh, they want the money, they'll bend and, yeah, they'll pretty much to the popular demand and not actually go away how they into walk. a pretzel. They turn into a pretzel. You guys are stuck on this conversation because this is a lot of things with society. It's not just music. It's not just, it's not just one way of life. One thing in this world that people bend to. Like, people do it for their jobs. Literally, there's, uh, there's families out there where husbands don't see their wives and kids for months at a time because they have to bend to that job so they can get that paycheck so they can support the house, the truck, the clothes, the iPads, the iPhones. Well, that's actually more what's, what's called keeping up with the Jones. You, know, you see this, you see your neighbor having the, a nice house, a nice car. Well, you want it, but... The thing is, a lot of people need to learn to live within their means. Yeah, on that aspect. See, and I feel like when we're talking about simple supply and demand, right? 
Um, when artists sell out, for example, they're basing their decisions based upon what they see the demand is for. Um, the same thing will actually go with any kind of marketing, not just to music. But so specifically on on music, we have a te we create our own demand as well. And so there's a lot of people that are upset about the direction that music is has been taken today. But consider this: it all begins with an idea. Somebody somewhere had a product that they marketed so well that it placed an idea in your head. Once you saw that. You thought that that was a thing to get, and so did everybody else. And once everybody started talking about it and finding out that more and more people wanted it, the demand was created, not by what actually was wanted at the time, but what was cleverly placed inside of your head. And so as artists, you see what you think the demand actually is. You strive to go for that, and it becomes an idea in society's head. That's what we, that's what we expect out of our celebrities. It's what we expect out of our role models. And so they go for what we expect, and they fulfill that demand. And then when when they stop fulfilling it, we stop paying attention. But that's the problem. We're not paying attention when they're doing things that are outside of what we'd initially expected. Yeah, and, and the, the, the biggest problem is they change from what their initial goal was. Like when, yeah. we, when we started to rest to be soldiers of music, man. Like the initial goal is to help people, be there for people, and we haven't changed. Not one bit, no matter how many people we've had to turn down on money or aspects that came in, we've never changed that because that's a part of ourselves that we won't lose. The goal has never changed. We've changed ourselves. The journey's yeah. definitely been an inexperience. Yeah, but we've, but we've never turned down the Watch people that we started this I just I feel like there's a lot of different aspects to consider because I feel like their selling out is kind of something that a lot of very avid music listeners, big music fans, um, are, look down on, I guess. But we are also society as a whole are also the ones who create the demand that those who sell out try to supply. On the other hand, a lot of them go for the easy route. Yeah. And the easy route being, everybody knows this, sex sells. Exactly. And a lot of the female artists anymore, that's what they do. I mean, the male artists do. Yeah, all artists, yeah. Everybody, you put a naked woman in your music video, man, it's gonna sell. A lot of them, even with, I mean, they, they make great music, but they still go that route. And some of it is good, but a lot of them, even the songs, all they are is sex. And then they, yeah, like, it has, it's a repetitive damn story that never ends. I feel like this would actually be a really good topic for next week about using sex as a gimmick in order to sell your music or what you've got. I feel like that would be another really good, because that's a whole other discussion. Uh, well, but, Right at this point, we're gonna have you guys leave your comments below and tell us what you think it means to actually sell out. Hey, and if you wanna help create a good solid demand for some awesome underground music, you can go check out our music on our website, rfpsoldiersmusic.com. <laughs> that was a perfect pop in right there. We got this sales pitch going. So, planting the seeds. Check us out on rfpsoldiersmusic.com anytime you want to catch one of our videos or anything related to us, shows, all of it. So, right now, straight off the out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Keep shining. Ripping him apart with such grace and elegance, she's making it a heart. Body parts are flying, there was blood everywhere. I'm captivated by the sight because there was love in the air. I went in for a kiss and didn't think about it first. She bit off my lips, my next ride was a hearse. I was buried underground with the love still alive. Gotta get out of this fucking box and find my way outside. I know she's still out there, I can feel her deep within. I'm a zombie now, too, so I like together can't begin. I love the res immortal and I love a resident. Broke it up my coffin, that's all that was said.